platform to be heard. And for the exceptional so ladies who have had the privilege of wearing the Miss Earth crown, life has never been the same long after their reign is over. After becoming the very first Miss Earth, Katharina Svensson from Denmark went back to law school where she met her husband. She now runs their own dressage company while being a doting mom to two lovely kids. Winfred Amwakwi from Kenya assumed the Miss Earth crown in 2002, becoming the first African to hold the title. Danya Prince gave Honduras its first ever international beauty title in 2003. Her win saw the beginning of the dominance of Latin American delegates in the competition. In 2008, she got married in Miami, Florida. Brazil's Priscilla Mireles found a second home in the Philippines where, according to her, all her dreams came true. From winning the Miss Earth title, establishing a career as a model and actress, to starting a family, Alexandra Brown never left the spotlight after winning Venezuela's first Miss Earth crown. She became a sought-after model and actress, and even won Best Actress Awards in international film festivals in 2016. Another Latina beauty took the Miss Earth title in 2006, and that's Il Hernandez from Chile. She continued her career as a model and is now a successful television producer. Soon after winning the crown for Canada, Jessica Trisco established herself as an academician. She obtained a PhD in political science, and her research papers have been published in academic journals. Carla Henry, the first Miss Earth from the Philippines, continues her advocacy for the environment while still carrying out TV and event hosting jobs. She's now a devoted mom to two adorable kids. Larissa Ramos gave Brazil a second Miss Earth title in 2009. After her reign, she finished her degree in microbiology and is now residing in Denmark with her husband and their children. 2010 was a banner year for India, with Nicole Faria being crowned as Miss Earth. She's now happily married and also a highly successful Bollywood star. Succeeding Nicole was Olga Alaba of Ecuador. She became a TV host in her country and took over the family business and eventually settled down. Czech Republic's Teresa Fajksova continued her career as a model and environmental activist, all while finishing her studies. She now has a daughter and is expecting a baby boy next year. Elise Henrich, after winning Miss Earth 2013, took on the Miss Earth Venezuela franchise. Now, she just launched an initiative called Global Pledge, a movement aimed at promoting consciousness about the state of the environment. Jamie Harrell gave the Philippines its second Miss Earth win. She then ventured into modeling, acting, and also became a news anchor. Today, she's a businesswoman and recently got her certification as a yoga instructor. It was a back-to-back -back win for the Philippines in 2015, with Angelia Ong taking over the Miss Earth title. Today, Angelia is still very visible in the fashion scene, gracing the pages of international magazines. Ecuador also joined the countries with two Miss Earth titles, courtesy of Catherine Espin. She never really parted the ways with the pageant now that she's the national director of Miss Earth Ecuador. Karen Ibasco, the fourth Miss Earth from the Philippines, widened the scope of her advocacy after winning the title. She became the ambassador of the Climate Change Commission and World Wildlife Fund Philippines and was the first youth ambassador for the Philippines in the Youth Climate Summit held at the UN headquarters in New York. Vietnam's Wing from Can instantly became a favorite cover girl in her country after giving Vietnam its first win. She's now a model and ambassador for educational and charitable organizations. Last year, a young lady from Puerto Rico won the Miss Earth title with cruise control. Today, well, she shifts into top gear. She readies to pass on her crown to her rightful successor. Together with her elemental court, let's all welcome back Miss Earth 2019, Nelly Spinantel.
Hello, my name is Elisa Manionak and I am your Miss Aspire 2019 from Belarus. Despite such a difficult and unproductive year, I want to thank Carousel Production for the chance to use my voice for promoting my advocacy and to inspire people, especially young generations all over the world, with my personal experience. I want to wish good luck to all the contestants. You are the real Echo Angels, so please, never stop to continue your journey as elsewhere is. And to all the people on our planet, stay safe and take care. Together, we can overcome any adversity. Maganda umaga, Philippines. Hello all over the world. I am Clara Vavrushkova, Miss Earth Water 2019 from the Czech Republic. Our year is over and next queens are coming. I would like to say thank you, all of you, all of the supporters and all of the viewers of Miss Earth. A big thanks to Miss Earth organization for this amazing opportunity. I'm really honest and thankful to you. I wish new queens all the best and I believe they will enjoy such a beautiful year. Thank you, Philippines. I love all of you. I will be always your queen and you my second home. Your Miss Earth Water 2019. The legacy you leave as a queen is the most significant part of your journey. I wanted to be the woman who stood for something bigger than herself. The woman who dedicated her time to her community and this planet. The Miss Earth organization is a reflection of everything I ever dreamed of. Learning, creating, and exchanging ideas that would lead to the sustainability of our planet was invigorating. To Laura and the Miss Earth USA team, you all are like family now, and I'll forever be grateful for all the hard work you put behind me on this journey. You helped shape me into this queen that I dreamed of becoming, and for that, I'll forever put you on a pedestal. To my Earth sisters, I love you all to the moon and back. This entire experience was nothing more than heaven sent, and I wouldn't trade it for anything. This year has been filled with nothing but change. Although faced with numerous challenges, one thing is for sure. We have been able to adapt and surpass the adversities thrown at us. I am Nelly Spimentel, your Miss Earth 2019. And though this is the last time I will address you as such, know that my work for a better connection with Mother Earth continues. To my Puerto Rico, thank you for believing in me to bring that first crown to our country. To the Miss Earth family, thank you for paving the way for these young women. To my sisters, I love you all. And to my successor, I wish you an amazing reign and remember that love and respect will give you a whole and better perspective.